The Cold Employee Network aims to promote cultural diversity and build a safe and respectful space for staff from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds to connect and share their stories. Pride Necto brings together staff from across the organisation to increase LGBTQIA safety and inclusion in the workplace and wider community. It also provides opportunities for LGBTQIA employees to contribute to policies and procedures. The First People's Engagement Committee's purpose is to acknowledge, showcase and celebrate Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultures and heritage. The aim of the committee is to build meaningful relationships and encourage truth-telling. We also have two new committees. Rural and Remote aims to promote inclusion for staff and communities who live rurally. This committee will bridge the distance by providing support and connection to the wider organisation and other networks. It will be used to identify trends and gaps that those in rural outlying communities face every day. Employees with Disabilities aims to provide a safe space for staff who live with a disability to share their lived experiences and to work together on promoting inclusion and accessibility in the workplace. The work that is happening across each of these committees is inspiring. It's important. It can be confronting to listen and learn where our processes and systems still have gaps and room for improvement, but they are becoming incubators for change. They are a space where you see kindness and support, a desire to learn and do better, and they're a place to connect and build relationships with people right across the organisation. Pride Nicto was set up to create a safe space for Anecto's sexuality and gender diverse employees to meet up, share lived experiences, support one another, and take a leading part in the development of policies and procedures that make Anecto a safer and more inclusive place to work. Pride Nicto members plan and deliver an annual program of activities aimed at increasing visibility and safety in the workplace. Activities include celebrating LGBTQIA plus days of significance, uh, taking part in community events and conferences, developing marketing campaigns and participating in training and education. I feel really proud to be a part of Pride Necto, which is basically a group of people coming together to bring about positive change in the workplace. I think it's really important that all of us are able to turn up to work, to feel safe and supported and to be our authentic selves. So Pride Necto is important because it is a place for um, people of all LGBTQIA plus um, identities to come together and talk about things that are important for their work life, but also things that are important for their identities and their personal lives. Um, it's a great place for us to tackle things that maybe are falling by the wayside for the organization um, and a chance for people to get together and talk about shared experiences um, of being a member of the LGBTQIA plus community in the workplace. Yama Yurali Aigamilaroi Naya Ina. Hello, I'm a Yurali Aigamilaroi woman uh, from Northwest um, New South Wales in the Southwest Queensland. Um, my name's Paulette Whitten. Um, I've grown up in Durrig country um, pretty much all my life and pay my respects to the Durrig, but also pay the res my respects to uh, the elders past and present of the area in which you're um, viewing this video from as well. First Peoples Engagement Committee, um, which is a committee that I lead um, and is the membership is made up of all um, any um, Anecto staff that would like to join to um, improve their knowledge um, and capabilities of working with um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities as well and we do that in several different ways. Uh, Anecto created this called Employee Network Committee as a platform for um, any uh, staff, especially for called uh, employee, to come forward and share their values and what is important to them. From this forum, we are learning from each other and this uh, learning education, reflecting on our service delivery, how we um, provide support to our customer. This committee demonstrates a commitment to being an inclusive and diverse workplace that is welcoming and supporting of all employees.
The committee's important to me because I actually get to have a voice as a queer person. I get to be able to um, talk about my views and say what's important to me in my role at work. Something that I've learned in committee meetings is actually how varied our workplace is. Um, just the people that we spend time with in our committee meetings are a fantastic group of people um, and they're from all walks of life and all um, different gender identities and things like that and I've actually learned a lot about my own community that I probably normally wouldn't have um, and that's been really awesome to learn. It has been a pleasure to be a part of Anecto First Nations Committee. I have learned a lot about First Nations since then and now I'm more comfortable in engaging with First Nations of Australia. So Pride Necto is important to me as this is a way for me to connect with the wider Pride Network within Anecto. This committee allows for the Pride Network within the regional areas to have a say and be recognised and valued. As the community within the regional areas can be very different from those of our city uh, community members. This committee has taught me that I'm not isolated within the Ballarat area and that I have a network within my organisation and colleagues which allows me to connect with my colleagues from all over Australia. I feel like it's important because I wasn't as confident to work in Australia when I started in an actor. Um, I worked in Australia before in retail, but doing an office job, it's very different. And it feels really good to see people from other places, um, other parts of the world that are part of an actor. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a sense of um, belonging as well. and representation. I think the committee has really shown me that, like that whole like difference in culture and it's really nice to like hear everyone's personal experience um, or like professional experiences as well and we can all learn from each other and then put things in place so that um, yeah, Anecto is more inclusive of as many cultures as possible. It's very important because I like to see that there's um, representation of the LGBTIQ plus um, community and um, just give some of my experience and help support others who are, um, probably feel less supported in their general life and um, so I can pass on some of my knowledge and experience and, and help them through. This committee is important to me because I could relate a lot to uh, other people in society who have come from different countries of the world because at one stage I was a, a newly arrived immigrant into Australia when I was 13 years old um, and I do remember the struggles that I had, the struggles my parents had adjusting into a new, new country, a new world pretty much. So this committee is very important for me because I can play my part in assisting with my versions on how to make things better for those who have arrived from other countries to Australia.